Hello and welcome to the ON TV Cooking and today we're celebrating everything Barbie. I'm your host Monique Maxim so let's get started with all things pink, okay? The first thing I'm going to show you how to do is make a filled cupcake. So you can buy one of these contraptions at your local dollar store and you just punch it in there. The little top will come up when you pull it out there will be your crumbs and you can discard them. If you don't have that, you can cut the end off a medicine tube and that will work just the same. Now I'm going to go ahead and dig mine out even just a little further, okay? Because what I want to do is make you a strawberry shortcake cupcake. And these are my um, silicone cupcake liners so my cupcake is just rolling right out of there so nice and what I'm going to do is just fill this cupcake with a couple pieces of fresh strawberry that I've cut here and then I'm going to go ahead and cut the corner off of this baggie that I have filled with vanilla pudding and it's just going to make the center of this so nice and so moist. So just add a little pudding in there. Mm -mm. And then we're going to finish it off with some frosting. There we go. There we go. One beautiful cupcake ready to go. We can put some sprinkles on it for a little more pink, but I want to show you one more trick. So what I like to do is make myself some bees, like the big Barbie you see on my shirt, like the big bee that you see on her logo. So you can just melt any candy bar into some hot tea water and just cut the very corner of your candy bar plastic off. And I have a piece of wax paper here, and I'm just going to make a B and try to keep it just as close a shape to the Barbie design as I can. So I know that it comes around like this. Okay, that is not very impressive at all. So let's refold this a little bit and give it another try. I think I got a fold in that first time. So let's give it another try. There we go. Now, if I want to put this on the top of my cupcake, I think I better scale it back a little bit. I think I'm getting too big. So we're just going to pop these in the freezer for a second and they will harden up and at the end I will show you we're going to have a couple of bees on a couple of our cupcakes. We've got a couple of different designs and a couple of different ways we're doing cupcakes today but our important thing is is that we're keeping it all Barbie pink. There are our bees. There we go. So I'm going to put these to the side till I get a chance to pop them in the freezer. So again, you can just fill your cupcake with a few pieces of your fresh cut strawberries. I just want to overfill it because I just love strawberries so much. And a little bit of your vanilla pudding. Hold everything in there and then you can top it off any way that you like. You can finish that off with a couple of beautiful pink sprinkles and we'll be right back after the break with something else beautiful and Barbie pink.
Welcome back, friends. Now I'm gonna attempt to make you a beautiful Barbie doll cake. So maybe you have seen one of these, you know, I'm lucky enough to have one of those friends that has to pass things down. So I was gifted that Barbie cake and I thought what a better place to try it than white right here at Amazing ON TV. But here is Broadcaster Barbie and uh, she represents everything that ONTV ladies stand for. They're all incredible multimedia journalists here. That's what we do. So it's great to be a part of that team. And let's get started making this Barbie cake. So when I first got started, I just used a cherry chip cake and I only used one cake. And I was sure to coat that pan. They are very serious about you coating it with Crisco and flour before you get started. So be sure that you do that. Now I've seen this uh, in other ways where you can use other pans and then shape it from there, but this is the pan that is especially for the doll bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to, try to get Barbie in there and then we're gonna start uh, making her, uh, her dress pretty. So here we go, we'll just plunge her in. We're gonna plunge her in. Then I wasn't sure what would happen with this dress, so I kind of cut it into ribbons, but I think now that I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead and cut those down a bit. And then I'm just gonna start decorating Barbie. I kinda wanna hide this leopard outfit, so I have the star tip on my frosting. So I'm gonna start by covering up her bodice. Now there is a million and one ways that you can decorate this Barbie cake. The trick I would say to making it would be, it says bake it at 350 for about 50 minutes. And I would say maybe bake it at 325. And I did bake mine for 50 minutes when I used the two cakes, it took a lot longer than 50 minutes, and I would definitely turn the heat down to 325 if you're doing that. So then from there, you can just decorate Barbie any way that you want to. I have a few fun things here, like I thought maybe I'd finish her off with this nerds at the bottom. I've got some of this sprinkle dust and you can just put it on a paintbrush and then just kind of tap it and it's like a glitter. So, well, I guess I was a little heavy there. There we go. So you can decorate Barbie any way that you want. I got a couple of pearls here. I think I'm gonna add a little bit of color to her. Bring her arms down a little bit. So there we have contestant number one on the Barbie cake, not too bad. So now we're gonna go for the full Barbie. Had a couple of toothpicks here while I transported it. So this Barbie, be sure if you're picking out a Barbie, make sure that she has flat feet. And again, I used two cake mixes for this. I didn't have to cut it off. It didn't bubble up like this. It says in the directions that it should bubble up and you should have to cut it off. So I'm a little concerned about how, um, how far Barbie's gonna fit down in here, but you know, she's dressed to swim. So let's take the plunge. There we go. So she's going to need a little bit of work to make her dress come together. But the important part of it is to just have fun.
with your Barbie cake and just invite your Barbies over and have a great time. I'm going to finish her up by putting a few of these flowers on it. So we're just going to keep decorating Barbie. We're going to have to make her a full bodice. It appears she's decided for a dropped waist dress today. And uh, I think I would like it better maybe if I put a little border along it like this and then maybe put my flowers on that because um, the flowers seem to disappear into the... Uh, but there's just so many ways and so many things that you can do and there's no end to the ways that you can decorate your Barbie. Ways that you can decorate your Barbie cake. There we go, we got some pearls around her bodice, so maybe we'll put our hands down, let her relax a little bit. And I'll work out some of these little... But there you go, you have the idea, just have fun with it, find yourself a Barbie, and bake your cake low and slow, and I hope you'll enjoy having a wonderful Barbie day. Orion Neighborhood Television is your community media outlet. Our mission is to empower community members and groups to create, communicate, and connect through television and video production. For more than 35 years, ONTV has offered video production classes to residents of all ages and provides them with the equipment and facilities to produce their own programs. Not only are residents encouraged to produce programs, but ONTV staff produces programs that promote local nonprofits and community groups like the Chamber of Commerce, the Orion Township Public Library, and the Lake Orion Lions Club, to name a few. The staff ventures out into the community to cover events like parades, festivals, concerts, and high school sports. ONTV has provided the equipment and staffing to televise township and village meetings live and has provided the video equipment that Lake Orion High School students use as they prepare for a career in broadcasting. ONTV's podcast studio and training give producers an opportunity to educate and entertain listeners. To sign up for classes or for more information, call 248-393-1060 or visit orionontv.org. Welcome back to our Barbie cooking special. You can see that our bees are out of the freezer and I've put a couple of them onto our cupcakes and you gotta admit, that looks pretty adorable, right? So there we go, in the spirit of Barbie, just more fun, easy things you can do. And now I want you to take a look at my cool ice tray. Now these are gonna go in our drinks and you might have seen these around. They're getting more and more popular and the restaurants will stamp their name right in there. But uh, I like to make these ahead of time out of whatever drink I'm drinking. So this is strawberry lemonade. I would go ahead and make strawberry lemonade squares and then when those melt, of course, it doesn't water down your drink. And they have all kinds of these silicone molds. So I did make a few stars, but I also have flamingos, pineapples, uh, lots of fun shapes. So I'm going to go ahead and put a few of those blue ice cubes in there. They're made out of the, the sweet pea tea is what they're made out of. And I'm also going to go ahead and put one of these cubes in there that I put a strawberry that I kind of turned into a little rose. You cut it a little bit and turn it and then put the water in there and set the strawberry down there and freeze that. And then that makes this beautiful ice cube with a strawberry in it. So to that, we're just going to add some of our pink lemonade. And when that blue melts, as you can see um, in our time lapse here, this one is turned all purple and how beautiful that will be. So 
there is your mocktail. We want to remind you to uh, make lots of mocktails for your guests. And for those of you who are not driving, just pour a, a shot of your favorite rum, vodka, whatever on there. And that's going to be amazing too. But cheers to Barbie and all that she has accomplished. Let me tell you just a little bit about Barbie. We all know that she can do everything, but in 2010, she became a race car driver. In 2016, she was a game developer. In 2018, she was a basketball player and a beekeeper. And in 2019, um, she became a head chef and a news anchor. So thank you to Barbie and all the inspiration that she brings. And thank you to all my Barbies that I hang out with all the time, Michelle, Anita, and the list would just be too long to even go on. So thank you for joining us in the ONTV kitchen today for our big Barbie special and everything pink. I hope you'll give a try at finding one of those pans and cooking it low and slow. Remember to use two batches if you want a big tall dress like this. And remember, you'll either have to um, give your Barbie a little adjustment or make the shorter one. This is just one cake right here and then I just took her legs off completely. And don't forget to get you some butterfly sweet pea tea to get you the uh, pretty color drinks and ice cubes that you can make in our floral um, rose into a strawberry in our ice cube there. And so I just hope you enjoyed our Barbie special today and I hope to see you again soon right back here in the ONTV kitchen.